Well, as you may know, the City Museum is the product of the creative and unconventional mind of artist Bob Cassily, who is to museums and playgrounds what Willy Wonka was to candy. Except that Willy Wonka was a fictional character. Bob Cassily is a real character. We, we've left uh, uh, eight feet the first one, six inches to put plumbing in. His and latest project at the City Museum is a space that will become home to the St. Louis Children's Aquarium. Now, aquarium might conjure up visions of fish in squarish tanks, which Cassily describes as being like watching fish on television. And you can figure he's not about to do that. What we want to do is make it seem like this place is really slightly out of control. You know, you can play in the water, you can go in tunnels, you can, uh, you know, uh, climb where you're not supposed to be, uh, look at, at things from you know, strange perspectives, go where your parents can't reach you. Um, and then you get up on top of the shark tank, and then there'll be like a clear screen you walk over. And then we'll have this tube so you can get on and so you can slide through the sharks you know, in this glass tube. And, uh, so you slide through the shark tank. Through the shark tank. Yeah. There's always a little bit of danger, or at least the sense of danger, the feeling of adventure in these spaces. There are throughout the building places where some kids are afraid to go into, and places where a lot of adults are afraid they might get stuck. And that leads you to this series of underground passageways that you have to crawl through. And because you can see these spaces, you have to earn these spaces by crawling and going through dark spaces. It seems to um, make you more, um, um, uh, feel like it's special to be there, so it engages you. Listening to Bob Cassily can seem like a trip through one of the city museum's caves or tunnels. You get the feeling that you're a little bit lost, but it's worth the trip. What it's important to do is, uh, is really uh, prove yourself by uh, creating a very rigid order. Then you can break the rules. Okay, but if you come in here and just mindlessly um, do freeform things, then there's no, there's no structure. I mean, structure comes with uh, uh, building a structure and then a counterpoint to the structure, uh, you know, and, things, and, and so you have this stuff on the edge of control next to control, and it's out of control, so we get this balance going here, and the kids can feel it, and people can feel it, because it doesn't feel like uh, it's been studied to death and, um, and consulted and experted to death, because we don't really know what we're going to do next. We're building this, ask, we're, we're your children, you know, digging tanks and sandcastles and stuff. We're making this up as we go along. The aquarium idea is not a new one. In fact, it was the original idea. And that's why there's a marine theme on the first floor for no apparent reason. The aquarium, though, went somewhere else and Cassily turned what he had into the city museum. Now the aquarium will relocate from its current location at Hanley Industrial Court and is scheduled to open here in early June. Under the sea. Here, cut in a rock, here, under